Hi guys, my name is Daniel and I'm going to show you how to upgrade your RAM and hard drive on a Asus Notebook PC Vivo Book Max X441BA-CBA6A. It's a mouthful. Um, pretty much if you have a X441B uh, laptop notebook, you can follow these instructions. It's the same case and everything and just uh, some have different upgrades meaning some have a solid state drive solid state drive already in it or a cd dvd rom drive this one doesn't um so we got a best buy for about 179 bucks on sale it goes for 279 now so it was a good deal at the time but it comes with a regular hard drive mechanical so you know that's going to be slow um when you're trying to run programs and multitasking and it only comes with four gigabytes of RAM. So we wound up buying uh, new hardware. It supports up to 12 gigabytes or an eight gigabyte expansion sticker RAM. And the RAM is uh, needs to be a DDR4 2400 megahertz, PC4 19200 um, and 260 pins. Then uh, I also bought Kingston 480 gigabyte solid state drive. And right now I'm uh, cloning my hard drive. It's at 58 percent. It's going to take a little bit. That way I can just swap out um, the old hard drive with the new one, upgrade the RAM, and put everything back together, and it should fire right up. So uh, I'll put in the comments all the details. Um, all right, so see you when we get back. Okay. Hi guys. Hi guys. So before we get started, let me show you the tools that we're going to need. Uh, you're going to need a, just a pair of scissors, a little bit of electrical tape, very small Phillips head screwdriver, and you're going to need some kind of a, either a tar pick or you have a thin piece of plastic because you're going to be uh, opening up the edges here. So you need to be able to release the, the clips. And this is the new RAM that I bought. And this is the new hard drive that I bought. Okay, I'm, like I said before, I'm currently cloning my hard drive. Um, so I'm still at 58%, unfortunately. Um, but basically when this is done, we'll be able to swap the hard drive in this laptop and just put this one in and everything will fire up. So just to show you, um, this, this, uh, laptop only comes with four gigabytes of RAM, which is not a lot. And then uh, the hard drive is obviously a, it's a mechanical drive. So the laptop doesn't perform as it should, but when we're done, the memory will be 12 gigabytes. So you have four, four gigabytes of onboard memory, and then you'll have the eight gigabyte stick that you can put in the expansion slot on the back of the motherboard. So this laptop can support only up to 12 gigabytes total. And then uh, the solid state drive that I bought, um, it's fairly equivalent. This is a 500 gigabyte mechanical drive and the solid state drive is 480. So give or take a few gigs, but uh, it's about the same. Okay, and uh, while this continues, oh, 59%. You're also gonna need um, if you want to clone the disc this way, it's a lot easier. You can uh, use the StarTech uh, SATA to USB adapter, and you need a USB 3.0 port. Um, so on this laptop, I'm just taking a guess. It looks like this was the 3.0 port, and this one is not, because when I tried it in this one, I mean, when I tried... The hard drive in this port 
it didn't work. When I switched when I switched it to this one, it did work. Okay, so that's it with the tools. Um, just to show you that it's the same laptop. Let's flip this over real quick so you can see the version on the back. See, it's X641B notebook PC, and you have the actual model version right there. X441BACBA6A. Okay, so that's it. You can need scissors, a little bit of electrical tape, fold screwdriver, then piece of plastic. The RAM you're going to swap, the new hard drive, and this cable adapter if you're looking to clone. If you're not looking to clone your current drive and just swapping it out, installing Windows as normal, then uh, you won't need that. All right, uh, we'll get back when this is done. Give it about an hour or so. Take care. All right, guys, and we're back. Um, so the so the hard drive finished cloning and uh, I powered it down. Make sure you shut down, screens off, lights are off. There's no power going through the machine. And make sure you unplug the AC adapter. All right, so we're gonna close it, flip it over. I started to unscrew these already, but uh, here we go. So if you go over here, um, the tools again, you're gonna need scissors. Electrical tape, here's the RAM, hard drive, some thin pieces of hard plastic to help get under the, the keyboard, container to hold your screws, and a very small Phillips head screwdriver. Okay, and we're going to unscrew the back, every one of these screws. Okay, so this one I just had came out of here. Took that out, I'm just going to go around. Okay, now we're gonna flip it back over. So take the piece of plastic of your choice. It's gotta be very thin, but hard enough to withstand pressure. So you're gonna start with your nails to try to get a little space. You start in this top corner and you're gonna to try to insert it here. So you should now lift it up a little bit. That way you can get underneath. And start feeling around for the clips. Don't put too much pressure. And just keep lifting it. I've opened this before, so it may be a little bit difficult the first time. But these are the exact tools that I had. So when I got to this point, it might be worth sticking something in there to hold it so it doesn't close again. Just keep working your way around.
Okay, now we're up, but don't just rip it right up, because if you slightly tilt it this way, you see there's two ribbon cables that need to come out first. Okay, so don't make the mistake of just ripping it off, because these are very delicate. So you want to remove these two pieces of tape. And I'll start with this one so you can see it. This little black piece, flip it away from the ribbon. Get your nail under there. So it releases and now you can just pull it out. Same thing over here. Away from the ribbon and pull it out. Okay, now the keyboard is out. No, um, you know, some people wear static gloves, you don't have to. Just make sure it's powered down. This doesn't have a removable battery, it's internal. Um, you can't remove it. So make sure you're wearing rubber soles and you touch the metal in the frame before you start touching the circuits to ground yourself and get rid of the static in your system. Okay, so we're gonna start this is the hard drive. I'm going to do that last because that's the easiest part. To install the RAM, we have to get under the motherboard. Okay, so I'm going to start by removing this fan and this chip. So, And that's me from before. Um, so, this plug was in here. Okay, so you want to make sure you pull that out. And you want to remove this one. Now, you got to be careful. This is a very thin plug. Just try to loosen it up a little bit. If you have nails, unlike me, it's a little bit easier. You don't want to pull on the plug. Use something plastic, don't use metal onto the board, you'll scratch it and possibly damage it. Okay, so you got the fan out, chips unplugged, and this plug is removed. Okay, so now we're going to take off this uh, cellophane paper, it's just glued on, so careful not to rip it. It's to help protect the motherboard from any debris or uh, possible static issues. Okay, put that to the side. Alright, um, so this little ribbon right here can now be removed. I'm going to pull from the outside in. Okay, now. Oh, now you can just pull it out, be very gentle. Square it from the side and kind of wedge it out. Okay. So now we're going to screw the motherboard.
So this is the bracket that holds the screen and allows you to move it. So as soon as you get it, it's going to release some tension. So. Alright, this should be it. So now, you want to use your fingers just to start prying it up a little bit. And you can use your other finger to uh, push on that VGA to help you release it. So move this bracket up a little bit. Push it out of your way. And this has to come off too. So you're kind of pulling it away and up. Okay, so start working it this way. Okay, you don't have to move that ribbon, just simply lift it up, and here we go. And this is where you put the RAM. So, let's open up the RAM. I just purchased this brand new RAM, trust me, don't play around with used RAM. It's one of the reasons why I had opened this already, I bought an old piece of RAM. I got a good deal on eBay and it turned out to be bad. Same thing happened to me on my other computer and didn't learn my lesson. So, Okay, so this is a Crucial, bland, <coughs> crucial brand. 8 gigabyte DDR, 2400 MHz. Uh, it's a 260 pin piece of RAM. Okay, so lift it up. Just insert it. And then you're going to push back and it'll snap right in. Okay? And then just make sure it's seated properly. If it's not seated properly, you'll have issues booting and you don't want to do this again. Okay, so now it's nice and snug. And that's it. Um, I guess while you're in here, if you happen to spill anything, uh, <laughs> hair, crumbs, you can clean it. Right, so now we're going to put it back. So make sure you align these pins with the battery. Okay, so now we're going to start screwing it back. Sorry. So you want to make sure this is not just enough and not over torque it.
Okay, now we can put this little ribbon back in. Make sure you put the lash down. Okay, now you can put this chip back in here. It's a little, if you can get lower. So, let's start it there. Put the fan back. So this part, this part goes under the chip. It's important because it's a spacer. You don't want to put this chip right to the metal. Okay, so it's going to look like that. Just so you know, some of the other people who have uh, the X441B Asus laptops, this slot is for a DVD-ROM or CD-ROM drive. This computer doesn't have it, so if you wanted to insert one, you could put it here. But in this one, it's empty. Okay, so now the RAM is installed. Now we're going to do the hard drive real quick. So there's only one screw holding that. Okay, this is very easy. Just take your thumb and gently pull back and shake. Shake it a little bit and I'll release. Okay. And this is the one that came with it, the 500 gigabyte mechanical drive. Alright, so now we're going to unscrew. The bracket that holds it in place. Oh, this one's pretty tight. My hands are a little sweaty too, so. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this out. It's mechanical, so don't put the chip down, place it that way. I'm gonna insert this.
you have small fingers, you can get it started without the screwdriver, but I do not. What's nice about the solid state drive, it's faster, produces less heat, less noise, and you know, a lot of people were against them in the beginning because they had short lifespans, but that has all changed now. There's no reason not to have one anymore, other than cost. They are more expensive. Okay, now you're gonna place it back down. And you're gonna insert this port directly into these here. Same thing, just like nice and flat and push straight forward. Just make it snug enough, not too hard, and you'll see the holes lined up, and that's how you know you're good. Now we're gonna take this plug, push it right back in. And we're gonna take this little plug for the fan, make sure it's right back in too. I'm gonna I'm gonna plug it in first and put it under the cellophane in case I ever have to come back in here again. I won't have to unplug this one because it's very small, thin, and difficult. You don't want to play around with it too much. You can lift this motherboard up with it still plugged in without too much difficulty. Okay, so now we're going to put this back on. Just line it back up exactly the way it was. You have any debris, hair, lint, just try to get it off. Okay, and uh, let's cut two small pieces of tape before we start putting the keyboard back on. Now we have them ready. If the other tape is still good, you can uh, reuse it. So now you want to line this up. You're going to take this blue ribbon. This one controls the mouse pad. Just slide it right back in there. Make sure that black part is still up. Don't push too hard. Just enough that's in there. Then push the black part down to lock it in. 
And let's give it a little snug to see if it's there. Good. And I'm gonna take that small piece of tape. Just put it right over it. Okay, and now same thing with the bigger ribbon. Just slide it right back in here. black latch down. And that's for the keyboard. Take the other piece of tape. Let's go right over it. Okay, and now we can start snapping this back in place. Just take a quick look around the edges, make sure it's you didn't miss any. And that's it. You, you put all these screws back in. And uh, before I do that, just want to make sure powers on And there we go. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I'll try to leave some more detail in the comments. Thank you for watching.